Hey guys, so iOS 18 beta 1, this software has now been available for about a week and a half as of the filming of this video. And the next question will naturally be, when is Apple going to release iOS 18 beta 2? Now in this video, I wanna talk about some of the features that are not available on iPhone just yet that are set to be coming to iOS 18 and could make their debut with the second beta for iOS 18. And I also wanna talk about some of the features we're hoping to see Apple add to the iPhone with the next beta and the release date for the next beta so let's go ahead and dive right in now the first thing i want to talk about is some of the features that apple could be adding to the iphone as not every feature for ios 18 that was announced is here just yet now the first thing i want to talk about is apple intelligence now apple intelligence is one of those features that will take some time for apple to complete so for example we could see apple intelligent features sprinkled throughout the operating system and through the beta cycle but apple intelligence will not be fully featured and packed into the iphone with the official release of ios 18 in september for example the new siri and some of the new siri stuff will most likely happen later down the road even as far away as 20 2025, early 2025 with iOS 18.3.4 and so on. So just keep in mind that Apple intelligence, although we could see a few features sprinkled throughout the operating system within the next couple of betas, it won't be available fully featured on day one, late September when Apple releases iOS 18 officially to the general public. But if we do see some of the features, here are some of the features we can expect within the next couple of betas. Here is the Genmoji. Genmoji is a new feature that allows you to use Apple intelligence to create custom emojis, as you can see right there, a squirrel DJ, you can create new custom experiences and emoji images using Genmoji to generate custom emojis on your iPhone inside of the Messages application. Obviously, this feature is not here just yet, but we could see this feature with Beta 2 and or beyond, so just keep that in mind. And now, aside from Genmoji, Apple also announced a new application entirely, which is the Image Playground. Now, this one allows you to create custom AI images directly on your iPhone. This is going to be a separate standalone application on the home screen of your iPhone that allows you to use Apple intelligence to create custom AI images on your devices. So this is a pretty cool app, not yet available within beta one. We could see a glance of this with the second beta. Now, one of the cool features coming to the phone application on iPhone is the ability to record phone calls and get a transcript of your phone calls on the iPhone. This feature is not here just yet within iOS 18 beta one. We're not sure if we'll see this within beta two, but it is a possibility that call recording, we could see the first glance at it within the second beta for iOS 18. Now, Apple obviously is also working on a lot of other features like a redesigned mail application that could be coming within the next couple of betas. Phone mirroring to macOS Sequoia within iOS 18 could be coming with future betas for iOS 18 as well. So just keep in mind, there's a lot that we're still waiting on for Apple to continue to add within iOS 18 and the next couple of betas. Now, there's a few things we know for sure that Apple will be doing with the next beta, and that is a lot of refinements and polishing of the software. So for example, we've seen plenty of bug within the first beta, which is to be expected, but we could see some redesign and changes for Control Center once again. We could see some changes and refinements to certain applications like settings, perhaps even Photos application. I'm not a big fan of the Photos application in the new UI. I know Apple was going for a continuous scroll design, but I don't really dig this design, I think, is something that many users will have to learn to use the Photos app once again, once they get iOS 18. So we could see some refinements there. And obviously throughout the entire operating system, we'll see some refinements and polishing of the operating system, rather it is for customizing, rather it is to actually change the icons on your iPhone or the way things interact and behave. We will see some refinements for sure within beta two, beta three, and so on until the official release of iOS 18. Now with that being said, when can we expect the second beta for iOS 18? Well, if history is any indication, last year with iOS 17, the second beta was made available on June 21st. So the next beta for iOS 18 this year, iOS 18 beta two, if history was to repeat itself, will most likely happen on June 24th, 
25th or 26th at the latest next week. So we're looking at about four to five days at the latest for the next beta for iOS 18. So keep in mind that iOS 18 is still in a developer beta. First public beta will most likely become available in the beginning of July, okay? So just keep in mind that the second beta for developers will most likely happen towards the end of this month on the week of the 24th. And there's plenty of new features for Apple to continue to add. There's plenty of refinements and changes and bug fixes that Apple will address with the second beta, obviously. I have to say that I iOS 18, although I've encountered some issues, it's been one of the most stable betas so far in form of beta 1, okay? So keep in mind that with iOS 16 beta 1, iOS 17 beta 1, that was a disaster. A beta 1 for iOS 18, however, has been pretty solid, I have to say. In form of beta, it's been pretty solid so far. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Looking forward to the next beta happening next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.